subway and give you access to the entertainment district. You're done. Let me unlock that for you. Doppelganger 21C identified. Hey there, handsome. Winning hand access granted. All yours. Enjoy the Vice District, kiddo. Oh, and tell Ember I said hi. Oh, and don't get horribly murdered. You! Yeah! I'm, I'm talking, talking to you, Debbie. You're, You're really racking up the debt. Now, we could still make a deal. Hand over Timothy, and I'll set you up real nice. VIP treatment, ooh, get free. Otherwise, that price on your head is gonna keep climbing. A lot of poor SOBs out there would love the chance to wipe their debt away with your scalp. So don't be thick, make a deal. Don't forget to spend! Pulling it to the Vice District. Go get sloppy! that was on my head, but, but I also maybe didn't tell her I was leaving. Tell her Timothy needs a favor. She tries to light you on fire. Well, I guess that's on me. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Vice District, where you'll see the most mind-blowing acts in the freaking universe. We've got the one and only Jigby Vermouth playing his greatest hits from sex appeal to Apple. We've got the flame dancer Ember and her sunny disposition extravaganza, and a bunch of other shit to keep you slack John Melvin's entertained, including hookers, so just go nuts. most of the gangs in this casino, unfortunately, but it wasn't always like this. After the lockdown, some people uh, tried to build a society, you know, live in harmony, all that. They're all dead. Pretty boy, he murdered all of them. The 
tower gives Pretty Boy access to the casino's security, but he wants my winning hand so he can have complete control. Food, oxygen, engines. I mean, if he gets a hold of me, it's gonna be anything but pretty. Quit dying already and buy a better shield! Yo, I gotta chat with this dancer for a moment. Get lost! This dancer's mine! Well, there go my customers, though they were sorta of deadbeats. So what are you in the market for, big spender? Know where Ember's at? Ember? Girl's been busy lately, lighting pretty boy's loaders on fire. But Trent might know where she's posting up. Want a tangle? Name's Trent, the slut. Word on the loop tube is that you're looking for Ember. Better bring a burn suit, baby. She's even more fiery than usual these days. Pretty boy's been squeezing all of us hard, and uh, not in a good way. That shiny hunk over there knows where Ember's hiding. Just tell it Trent, the slut, sent ya. <laughs> Trent the slut said you might know where Ember's at. Hold on, sexy. Ember wants to speak to you. Salut, Volt Hunter. At the moment, I am indisposed. Pretty boy thugs just moved into the neighborhood, and I have prepared a gift for them. Deliver it for me, and then we speak. Fresh hot death. Thank 
Thanks for playing at the handsome jackpot, <laughs> you giant dummies. No, I'm serious. Thanks for blowing the kid's college fund. He just giving it to me. It's great. You're super stupid. That's the one. Now deliver it to Pretty Boy Stugs, if you please. I would ah. like to give them, how you say, a warm welcome. Uh. 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 Yeah. Who else could eat? Counting? in reserves and I think that's the only thing keeping me alive. As long as I retain a fortune they can't reach without me, I'll be safe. But if I'm going to keep this going, I need to get back to the games. It's the only way to make sure I can keep the cash flowing. I'm going to run out of money eventually and unless I keep my hot streak hot. Luckily, despite the casino going full dark, the dealer bots and whatnot just kept on manning their stations. Let the games begin again. Let's give pretty boy sucks 
sure to remember, no? What? That's it? says you can help us get into Jack's tower. He also says you shouldn't set me on fire. Does he now? Pauvre Timothy. Consumed by handsome demons. A prisoner of a mask. I tried to help him forget the past. But what hope does he have with a face like that? Timothy. He was obsessed with getting into that tower of handsome Jacques. When he left, I feared he would brave the task all alone, but now here you are. I suppose he told you I might lend my fiery arts to his cause? Yeah, and I look forward to seeing how much fire is involved if you help us. Well, maybe I can. But not without my tools. They were on my ship and she is missing. Pretty boy's doing. Recompense for refusing to hand over Timothy. If you retrieve my tools, I would gladly lend a match to the kindling. First, you must locate my ship. She is called Le Femme Brûlée. I hope she has not been destroyed. <sighs> Ship identified. La Femme Brûlée is located in the impound lot. Proceed to impound lot to pay fees. The impound lot? Merde. Well, at least she can still be saved. The impound is a dangerous place, Sherry. But what would our journeys be if we stayed where it was safe, no? My ship is in the impound lot. Go there. Take this subway to the impound lot. When Ansem Jacques was alive, this casino attracted gamblers from all over the galaxy. This casino has always been a trap, then and now. Once Jacques was holding all the chips, the casino would take your ship until your debt was paid in full. And one never repays a debt to Ansem Jacques. If you do not believe me, just ask Timothy. <laughs> Now, Pretty Boy controls the casino from the tower, and he wields the knife of death just as Jacques once did. An indebted man will do things he would not have thought himself capable of. I have seen it, Shari. Anyone out there? Spirits! I need spirits! Spirits for a song! Gotta get back on track! Uh, are you real or a demon? Either way, slap me straight, would you kindly? I'm in the fog. Dead drunk! So don't hold back! You sure, dude? I mean, I only use my knife. By the way, big fan. Can't you hear me, baby? I'm in the fog! Drunk! <laughs> Gotta get back on track! And you're gonna help me! Come on! Do it for Digby! <laughs> Give me a tap! Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Fogs are clearing, but it's just a start. Need a concoction, a pick-me-up, something to uphold Digby's tempo. You know how to make a June pie jump starter, don't you? We'll have to improvise. Uh, something strong, something alive, and a twist of lime should clear the fog. Oh. Hey, what the hell happened last night? Uh, must have been quite the 
night. I remember Crash the Skis laughing. And, uh, and a mom standing over me smiling like the silent devil himself. That'll thin out the fog. Something to put a pep in old Digby's step. Like a solar flare. Hold steady, Digby. Hold steady. Oh, crap. I killed Digby for Ruth. God damn, god damn. I'm Digby Vermouth, baby. Back on track, thanks to you. You virtual soul instrument, you clear the fog of maestro mixing. That's what you are. Come a little closer, maestro. Eyes are still adjusting to the light. Lucky break, you showing up. You've got a, I don't know, a certain vibe to you. Kind of unpredictable. You and me should jam sometime. What do you say, maestro? My baby's gone. That Jupai jump starts a start, maestro. But now my fingers are twitching, and Digby's lips need to taste some tunes. My saxophone Delilah and I've been spreading sweet song across this fair galaxy since I was an itty bitty Digby. Only, she's gone. Can't make music without my Delilah. Help me find her. All I remember before I passed out was my buddy Crad the Skis, a puff of smoke, and sloppy dance music. I'm thinking the Vice District. Shame about the casino. For a time it was jamming. My agent signed me for a three week gig here on the way to June Pie 7 for Casaban Sunfest. Thing is, before the last show, some vault hunter called curtains on Handsome Jack. Then this whole thing became a permanent residency. But I ain't crying. You can make music in a bathroom stall if you're good. And I have. Cause I am. Album was called Love Between the Stalls, yeah. This casino's got a crazy vibe. Produced my first song after the lockdown in the dark. Lockdown loving. 
Ludas came to the studio, but I played a track and, well, they just put down their guns to listen. By the end of the song, they was all buck naked making whoopee. <laughs> Digby's saxophone. Where's it at, mime? 
Okay. Think he wants a tip, Maestro. Nice, uh, miming. Now we're getting somewhere. He's trying to tell you something. Try speaking his language, Maestro. Your body's an instrument, Maestro. You just gotta let the tunes out. Oh, damn. Uh, that was uncalled for. I can't believe you just said that to him. Pride and joy. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, damn, Delilah, that's a sound. Thanks for bringing it back to me, maestro. How'd you like to cut a record sometime? I'm talking fire and fits, chords and chaos. Oh yes, we'll get this casino back on track with symphony and sirenara. Digby Vermouth and the Vault Hunter. Ooh, that's music to my ears. <laughs> 